The Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art, commissioned this group of seven paintings from the women of Jala Arts in Armata in Northwestern South Australia in 2011-2012. The exhibition title, which meant, I hold my father's story, I hold my mother's story, celebrated the life of a much loved young man who died tragically in a car accident. The artist involved in the exhibition stated, we made them, the paintings, in a special way to make him proud. We will remember him all the time, even though our hearts are broken. It was the memory of this future leader of their community that inspired these seven paintings. In this group of paintings, the Armitage community women continued in this spirit, exploring dynamic, fresh, stylistic expressions of their culture and Nora country on canvas. The Arts Centre at Armata is named Jala Arts for the ancestral honey ant, whose tracks wind through the Armata Valley, and this is the basis of many of the stories that the people there paint. The honey ant is the Jukapa dreaming law for Armata, and also a favourite bush food for local people. Jala Arts is now the hub of a vibrant Western Desert painting movement invigorating Australian contemporary art. Both cultural knowledge and painting techniques are taught in the painting shed, often by working collaboratively. And this is demonstrated in this group of seven paintings. When grandmothers, their daughters and grandchildren, along with other family members, have painted together to produce these paintings. The land itself is a rich source of inspiration for these talented women. Elders described how artists living in their communities have access to the art painted on the rock walls of caves by their ancestors and can bring these stories to the surface in their paintings, commenting, Our stories are strongest when we paint in our country. The hills and rocks surrounding Armata sheltered significant sites where important creation narratives were played out, such as that of the Seven Sisters, which is about the constellations of Pleiades and Orion, a major story embedded deep within the Armata landscape and told in ancient charcoal and ochre cave paintings. I was invited to visit these caves with 25,000 year old images painted on the surfaces and astonishingly lying back on the rock surface and looking up to the ceiling, there were images exactly like the ones that were reproduced 25,000 years later in these paintings on canvas. It was one of the most important realisations that I'd had in the years that I've been working in Indigenous Australian art. The direct connection between the images that had been painted all those years ago and the fresh images now painted on canvases with the same enthusiasm and knowledge.